another episode of This Week at River Ridge. This week's topics include Spirit Week next week, Academic Bowl starting, and the Super Bowl. Next week is Spirit Week. The dress up days will be Monday, Pajama Day, Tuesday, Twin Day, Wednesday, College Day, Thursday, Holiday, and Friday, Spirit Day. Also on Friday of Spirit Week, we'll be having a fun day. There will be different activities in different classrooms, and we'll also be playing a movie in the gym for everyone. Following the movie, there will be Iron Man Volleyball going on. Academic Bowl is starting. Ad Academic Bowl's first meet is in East Dubuque against the Warriors on Monday, followed by another meet on Thursday against the Warren Warriors. The varsity team is coached by Mr. Vandio and the JV team by Ms. Allendorf. Good luck to both teams at each meet this upcoming week. The Super Bowl is on this Sunday at 6.30 p.m. The New England Patriots take on the Seattle Seahawks. I think the Seahawks are going to take away the title. The Packers were doing great and Seattle managed to take them down. Seahawks all the way. How about you, Felicia? Well, actually, I don't know anything about football, so I have nothing to say. Now here's to this week's weather. Thanks, girls. It's been a while since our last report, but here's this week's weather. Friday, we have a high of 31 and a low of 19. Saturday, we will be a high of 34 and a low of 22 with 30% chance of rain. Sunday, we have a high of 28 and a low of 12 with a 40% chance of rain. And Monday, we have a high of 25. Now to our special correspondent, Dylan Sadler, who is in Glendale, Arizona today. How is the weather going to be at the Super Bowl? Well, considering they are playing in an air-conditioned stadium, I bet it will be pretty good weather. My guess is around 75 degrees. Did you get to talk to any of the players? Yeah, I got a football signed by Tom Brady. Except it feels a little flat. That was all a myth. Who's your pick to win? Seahawks 28-24. What's yours? I'm going to say Patriots 28, Seahawks 10. Well, that's all we got for this week. Back to you, girls. Thanks, Dale. Now here's the sports. Thanks, girls. The girls' basketball team is finishing up their regular season and is preparing for the upcoming regional in Galena beginning the week of February 9th. The girls have been busy having games on Monday, Thursday, and a game on Saturday. The girls played East Dubuque on Monday. They fought hard but came up short with the final score being 24-37. They will be able to redeem themselves with a 6 o'clock game in East Dubuque on Saturday. We will have more information on that game at a later date. Now here's to Garrison with a few highlights from Monday's game. Wild movement by River Ridge Scales Mountain Lady Cats gets Brodsman open for a baseline jumper. Yeah. Nicole Tease hits a long three. Thanks, Garrison. The boys have had a competitive week. On Tuesday, they played against Scales Mound, beating them for the second time this season with a score of 60 to 45. The boys play again tonight in Galena with a tip-off at 6. Come out and support the boys. The boys play again Saturday against Eastland at 1 o'clock, which is a makeup game. There's a chance that this game will be broadcasted on RRTV, so if you can't make it to the game, check and see if our boys will be online. Back to Garrison with some highlights from Tuesday's game. Brendan Dauphin drives and pulls up for a shot. Good ball movement by the River Ridge offense gets Matthew Clipper a wide open three. Thanks guys, now here's a Sam with his segment. Thanks Felicia. Because of the Super Bowl coming up this week, I figured I'd ask the students some questions about Super Bowls. So, Smitty. Do you know what two teams are facing off in this year's Super Bowl? The New England Patriots and the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Seattle Seahawks and New England Patriots. The Seahawks and the Patriots. New England Patriots and the Seattle Seahawks. That's correct. What team has won the most Super Bowls? Um, the Steelers. The uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> uh, Pittsburgh Steelers? Uh, the Steelers, I think. That's correct. The Pittsburgh Steelers. They've won six of them. What team has the longest Super Bowl championship drought? That means they've won a Super Bowl, and then from then on, they haven't. Uh, I have no idea. All right, I have no idea. That is incorrect. The Buccaneers. Probably like Titans. The New York Jets. That's correct. Very good. They won Super Bowl number three, and it's been 46 years since they've ever won one. What team lost four straight Super Bowls? All the teams in the NFC East. I have no clue. Take a guess. Uh, San Diego. I don't know that either. No. Patriots. 
the Bills? That's correct, the Buffalo Bills. Thanks, Sam. Now here's the current events. Hi, I'm Peyton, and this is Trey, and we're going to do current events. Massachusetts runs the only state getting hit hard Tuesday afternoon. The National Weather Service has also reported about 16 inches of snow in Portland, Maine, and over 21 inches in Houston. New Hampshire had 28 and a half inches in and in Orion, New York. With less than one week till the biggest game in 2015 season remaining, New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady is still talking a lot about this last one. Deflate Gate, the scandal surrounding the revelation that 11 of the 12 game balls used by the Patriots were underinflated in the AFC Championship victory over the Indianapolis Colts, is not going away. Brady said Monday morning during an interview on Boston's WEEI radio that he's taken the scandal personally. It's all speculation, Brady says. I've tried to wrap my head around it, too. I've done that, and I'm trying to move past that, because I continue to try to rehash things. I personalized a lot of things and th thought this was all about me, and my feelings got hurt. Do you think that the Patriots should be kicked out of the Super Bowl for cheating? Well, I don't know. Well, the Seahawks and the Patriots will be in the Super Bowl. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Now it's time for Mr. Curry with his joke of the week. <coughs> okay, you ready? On. Hey, Carissa, what did one toilet say to the other toilet? What, Mr. Curry? You look kind of flushed. <laughs> <laughs> nice joke, Mr. Curry. Felicia, how do you describe this episode? It was wondrous. Thank you for joining us with this wondrous episode, and we'll see you next week.